We're going to take a look at three common issues we see with zero wall thickness and water tightness. So we have a sample part here and we're going to go through how to spot the issues and then how to fix them. Uh, first we have this part that looks good for the most part. Uh, we'll do a quick export and then we're going to open the file in NetFab which is linked in this article. So I'm going to open NetFab and then open the STL. We can see the kind of the issues here, especially in red. So let's take a look at the first one. Uh, if we go to the measure tool and we measure the wall thicknesses, we can take a look to see is this part even printable. This wall here looks like a solid body and has thickness, so that's all good. Same with this area. This area is also great. Um, however, when we look to this area in red, even though it looks like it has a thickness and is a solid body, it's actually going to be a shell with zero wall thickness. So that's the first issue that we see, and that can be easily spotted in NetFab. Next, uh, the, which is a little bit more apparent, is this wall right here. Um, you can see that it's kind of a thin wall, so you might be able to see it or be able to spot it with intuition, but NetFab is always kind of a good check to see it and have it jump out at you. The last thing is if we take a quick zoom in on this part right here, we'll see that these edges are actually not connected. So this would be a shell instead of an actual solid body. And that's what they say when we talk about water tightness, that if you filled this object with water, the water would leak out so it's not watertight. And that's where the issues come from. So those were kind of the three main issues in this design. And let's take a look at how to do a fix. Uh, in NetFab, you can sometimes do an automatic repair. So hit that repair button right there. You can finish out the repair. And what you notice is it fixes this little shell right here. It removes the zero wall thickness. And if you take a closer look at this part, in green, you'll see that it fills in and connects those two walls. So if you want to do an uh, automatic repair, you can just apply the repair and you're all good to go. Now sometimes the design's a little bit more complicated and can't automatically be repaired in NetFab. So for a case like that, we're going to go back to SketchUp and we're going to see what we can do to fix it up there. Again, when the design is a little bit more complex and the algorithm can't solve it automatically, uh, we'll go back and try and do a little redesign. So as you remember from NetFab, the first issue we saw was that this wall had zero thickness. So sometimes when it's in the design, it depends on which way the normal of the plane is facing. Because when you're building with surfaces, you're building around kind of an empty area instead of building up from the solid body. So the first fix would be to reverse the face. And that way, there will actually be thickness if you take this measurement from this wall to this wall, so that we're all good there. Uh, the next fix that we want to take a look at is closing up the surface. NetFab was able to do it automatically, but for more complex designs, it might be better to make sure that these parts are connected. So I'm going to do a quick close up right here. Great, and then uh, SketchUp will automatically fill in the rest of it. So that looks good right there. Let's pull it out. All right, and then the last fix that we're going to do is take a look at this region right here. So what NetFab did is it just removed it because it was a zero thickness wall so even though it appeared visually it doesn't actually exist and it wouldn't print so that's why NetFab removed it. We can either remove it or I want to offer another solution which would be to add some thickness to it. And usually uh, you would do a push-pull to kind of pull it out but since I'm going to do an example with surface modeling we're going to do it based off of surfaces and try and close it out that way. Great. So now this part has thickness. 
So those are kind of simple ways to manually go in and fix common issues that we see with zero wall thickness and water tightness. The keys to remember are just to make sure that the faces are, the normals are pointed the right way in the faces. Each wall has a thickness and every side or every wall is connected so that it's watertight.